Mark Wahlberg has grown into a versatile superstar in Hollywood with a range that spans classic dramas like Boogie Nights and The Departed, the comedy hits Ted and Daddy's Home, and the blockbuster Transformers movies. With Marky Mark now a distant memory, Wahlberg is focused these days on his family and his Catholic faith, two themes that play prominently in his latest film, Father Stu. Mark and I got together in New York for a Sunday sit-down. But I ain't giving up. Not on him or me. A fighter finding faith. I'm gonna be a priest. <sighs> for Halloween. That is the story of Mark Wahlberg's latest film, and not an unfamiliar one to the 50-year-old star himself. What the church needs is somebody who's gonna fight for God. That's me. I was at a pivotal time myself in my own spiritual journey, and it's certainly the most important film that I've ever done. Father Stu is the inspiring and often painful true story of Stuart Long, a middling boxer who became a priest while suffering from a degenerative muscle disease. It's all God's grace. You just gotta let him in. He'll do the heavy lifting. Amen. Does this movie feel different and special to you than maybe any other that you've done before? Absolutely. Obviously, it's the greatest role that I ever got to play. It's the first time I actually really had to go the extra mile to get the movie made. It's a beautiful story. It's got Mark Wahlberg, Mel Gibson, and Jackie Weaver. How do you not bite on that movie? Yeah, you know, <laughs> if it was, uh, if there was an alien invasion in there somewhere, or, <laughs> you know, some sort of superhero, then it would have gotten made, and the budget would have probably been $300 million. So I had to finance the movie myself and ask some friends to, to chip in. Wahlberg's commitment to the film went well beyond that financial investment. He also underwent a stunning physical transformation. People in certain scenes in this film may not even recognize you. You put on 30 pounds, brutal. Yeah. Eating 7,000 calories a day, up to 11,000 calories a day. How do you begin to eat that much? You get up, you eat uh, a dozen eggs, or 12 pieces of bacon, either regular or turkey bacon, two bowls of white rice, drink a cup of olive oil, have a weight gainer protein shake, you're eating again two and a half hours later. It's only fun for a couple of days. Right, and then how do you get it off? It's so much easier to lose weight than it is to gain weight. There's nothing more miserable than when you, you go to bed at seven and somebody's waking you up at 10 o'clock and you're still full from the last meal to eat again. That is the worst. You've talked about this movie as a turning point in your life. What do you mean when you say that? I've had many, many uh, turning points, eye-opening experiences, things that I've learned that have just kind of touched me and, and helped me to get to the position that I'm in now. It was like, okay, how do I use the platform that I have now to give back and start to do service? And so, you know, kind of getting Stu's word out there, continuing to promote his message and just encouraging people to focus more on their faith and to have hope. I, I certainly wasn't put in this position for, for nothing just got to do more. Wahlberg has risen to the heights of Hollywood from Boston's Dorchester neighborhood, where he grew up poor as one of nine children and as a teenager fell into a violent life on the streets. You want to look at St. Matthew, St. Augustine, St. Francis. I mean, some of the most remarkable figures in the history of the church are reformed men. It doesn't take a Sherlock Holmes to see some parallels to your own life about redemption, second chances. Absolutely. I don't think anybody's beyond redemption as long as they want to repent and want to do good. Were there people, Mark, when you were a kid, you feel like maybe wrote you off based on the way you came up and Dorchester yeah. and all the things you went through yeah, in, yes, as a but kid? Yes, but there were also people who were there for me and they encouraged me to do the right thing. I was just, unfortunately, I was too... I, I just wasn't able to recognize the importance of listening to the people that were actually had my best interests at heart. I had to go through some really hard times. What you guys get, one phone call a week in here? Who you gonna call, huh? When no one else cares what you got to say, God does. My dad had a stroke and lost a lot of his mobility. So I had, you know, lots of years looking at my dad deteriorate and, uh, and how that affected me. But the great thing about Stu is as his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality soared. He felt like based on the life that he lived and the things that he had done, that he, he deserved far worse. And he was willing to suffer much more. And you know, I lost my mom during the movie. I know, sorry. And uh, I held everything in. 
what was that like for you? It was tough. It's a lot easier to tell somebody else to celebrate a loss um, than it is to actually do that. It was hard to see her suffer for her last weeks and to be there watching that and to just kind of watch her deteriorate. But she had always, always remained really positive and, uh, and, and really encouraged us to, uh, to be happy. Even for a performance already drawing critical acclaim, Wahlberg finds a tough crowd at home in the four children he shares with wife Rhea. What did your wife and family think about this one? I tried to show my kids, oh God, we were on holiday. So I showed them and my daughter just looked at me and she goes, Dad, this has got to be the most boring movie oh. I've ever seen <laughs> and that's ever made. She's 12. Yeah. So I let that slide, but my wife was really moved. My wife's been through a lot. My wife's had to deal with a lot of loss. So when we watched it the first time, she just ran out of the room. She was super emotional after the film. Do your kids, are they impressed by anything you do? Or is, are you just dad and they roll their eyes? You know, my sons now, they're playing golf and they know that I could play pretty good. So they're impressed with that. Every once in a while, they're impressed with the relationship that I have with lots of uh, professional athletes. But I think, I think they are secretly impressed with, with my work ethic and my discipline, you know? And I have to be example for them. You know, I have to show them that, you know, Dad's gonna get up, he's gonna do whatever he has to do. I'm more driven now and determined than I've ever been. Father Stu is in theaters this Wednesday, April 13th. Our thanks to Ocean Prime Restaurant in New York City for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Mark Wahlberg. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.